My name's Oliver Walston, and I farm here in England, in the eastern part of England, about 80 kilometers north of London. I have 800 hectares, which is quite a big farm for England and a very big farm for Europe. And it's been in my family for nearly a hundred years. Of course, this isn't a typical farm. It's a lot bigger than most farms are in Europe. And I'm not a particularly typical farmer. But the fact is that many, many farmers across Europe are beginning to think and do what I'm doing, which is to make use of a new revolution which is sweeping agriculture. And this revolution is based on the internet. This is really very exciting because right now, this isn't a dream, this is actuality. I am speaking to a computer and finding out information that I could not find out before. Or at least if I did, it would take a long time and there would have to be somebody sitting in the office. And I get completely objective, neutral information. Nobody is trying to sell me anything. And right now I have told this website what variety of wheat I want to plant. It has told me what diseases are likely and then it has calculated what the profit will probably be in my conditions. Now this to me is extremely useful information and it's something which did not exist before the internet. One of the biggest changes that's happened to me as a farmer in the last two years is the need for traceability. In the old days, the consumer didn't mind providing he or she ate bread. Now the consumer wants to know a lot of information. Where did the bread come from? Where did the flour come from? What variety of wheat came made the flour? What was sprayed onto the wheat? And all of this information, which is very complicated indeed, has to now be stored on a computer. But it means it's very easy. If somebody says to me, what did you do on that field or this field last year? Which fungicide did you put on? What variety? Which herbicide? I know immediately. That is something which has happened very recently and will be more and more important in the future. It really is impossible to overestimate the importance of the Internet to me right now. It isn't just a question of information, although goodness knows that's important enough. What I'm also going to be able to do within the next month or two, the immediate future, is I will be able to buy and sell my production, my wheat, and buy my crop protection on the Internet direct from the producer. Maybe in crop protection it'll be from Aventis. And I will not, therefore, have to deal with the middleman. With any luck, therefore, it will be cheaper, it will be quicker, and it will be easier. And for me, those are very, very important factors. In the spring, the biggest job is to fertilize the fields. In my grandfather's day, it was necessary for people to come and leave little heaps of horse manure every 22 yards, exactly the length of a cricket field. Then in my father's day, they would take a sample to see how much fertilizer was necessary. Today, we take many samples every 50 meters. And thanks to the GPS satellite, we now know exactly where to put on a lot of fertilizer, where to put on a little fertilizer. It is not any more a luxury. Today, it is a necessity. I can't pretend that the internet revolution will have no problems at all. There will be problems. And I think the biggest one is going to be the logistical problem. Right now, when I buy some chemical, some herbicide, I make a telephone call and a van arrives from two kilometers away. If I buy this on the internet, somebody will have to arrange to send it to me, and it may be from many kilometers away. And this is going to be a serious problem. So the disadvantages of the logistical problems will be set against the big advantages of cost and convenience and speed. But on balance, I have no doubt, the revolution will take place. But it's not just in the field that computers are important. Here in the office, they're almost even more important. When I was a little boy, we used to employ 80 people, 80 on this farm. And here they all are, having supper after the harvest in 1947. In those days, there were five people in the office. 
Today, there's nobody, just me. And one woman who comes in for one morning every month and she sits here. This is why this desk is empty. So why then is the internet so important to me? Is it just because I like new gadgets? No. It's important because, first of all, it will reduce the prices I have to pay and increase the prices I receive. But secondly, and actually even more important than that, I am the last farmer here at Triplo who will be able to afford to sit in an office and not on a tractor. The next generation, unfortunately, will do what his American counterparts do, spend most of his time on a tractor. And when that happens, he'll need this a mobile phone, and this mobile phone with the new technology called WAP will mean that he will be able to access the internet from the tractor. The, the office computer will not be necessary anymore. And from that moment, the farmer here at Triplo will have the sort of flexibility that I can only dream about today. And the only time he won't be able to access the internet is when he's in the Channel Tunnel going to France or in an aeroplane going to America.